The Grove School of Engineering at the City College of New York is a very special place. We're really excited about our location, which sits in Harlem, in the city of New York. We use it as our classroom, we use it as our laboratories. We actually fondly refer to New York City as our laboratory. The education and the research that takes place at City College goes far beyond the walls of our classrooms or the walls of our research laboratories. The types of problems that we work on are real world problems with societal impact. The reason I chose City College and the Grove School of Engineering because it provides affordable and at the same time exceptional engineering education in one of the most diverse academic environments. When I came to City College, leaving uh, my country, coming here was the best place for me to uh, learn and be exposed to other cultures and, and uh, definitely other people. I felt embraced, I felt a part of a family um, outside of my immediate family. We were very purposeful in our selection of health, energy and environment as areas of research for uh, us to focus on, mainly because it's very much aligned with our mission to serve society and to do work that has important societal impact. In 2001, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration established a major national science center in remote sensing science and technology at City College of New York, headquartered at Grove School of Engineering, mostly because of our infrastructure and capabilities. Students at all levels, undergraduate, master, and PhD, are involved with us in conducting cutting-edge research in satellite remote sensing including air pollution, coastals, land, and extreme events. These students, they learn the best technology which exists out there in monitoring, modeling, and predicting the environmental changes that are taking place on our environment. A key strength in a lot of the work that we do is that we collaborate across disciplines. One great example of that is the solar pod. Students were expected to design and build prototype dwellings that were powered by solar energy. They selected rooftops as an ideal place for this prototype dwelling that's depending on solar energy. And the rooftops being flat rooftops in mid-level size buildings in the city of New York as a great access to solar energy. The Energy Institute brings in people from well, certainly all the engineering disciplines. Our activities are primarily focused on safety, how to take a technology where you can get a million times more energy out of an atom than you can with a chemical reaction. And uh, we involve students at every level. My research group is primarily concerned with developing new treatments for neurological and psychiatric disorders, very broadly things spanning depression, pain, and epilepsy. And the principle of our work is that if we can understand how the brain works normally and how it works during disease, if we can identify the processes that go wrong, we can rationally develop treatments that correct those processes. And one way we've discovered to do that is by using a very low level of electricity. We believe it's vital for students to get involved in the kind of research that we do very early on. What you learn in a classroom uh, is very distinct from what you can learn in the lab. And one important thing is that problem solving can get to look very easy when you're taught from the classroom, but as soon as you enter a lab, you get to realize that it's a lot different and very hard. What I found in my own uh, group is that when I have projects that are specific to health issues, students become very, very engaged and they have a much easier time to explain to their friends and family that those research areas are extremely important. Grove School really helped me 
to appreciate the importance of service to the public, service to the community, and I hope to continue to participate in this type of activities when I become a graduate student and then a scientist. I think what makes the City College of New York a really unique institution nationally is not just the quality of the research by the faculty, but actually our student body. What they share is almost this, this grittiness, this, this desire to succeed, this toughness that you absolutely have to admire about them. And so faculty at the City College of New York, we don't just teach our students, we actually admire them. It's why we're so excited to, to see them come here and then go on to succeed.